Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to use the crop tool. This tool allows us to crop layers in our project as well as the full project. This tool shares some common options with the selection tools. Click the card in the top right hand corner to learn more. Let's start by creating a crop with this tool. To do that, click and drag out a rectangle much like the Rectangular Select tool operates. You'll notice that Highlight is automatically toggled on for this tool, which allows us to easily see which areas will be kept and which areas will be cropped. We can adjust our crop by going over any of the edges, or from the center, we can move it around. Once we are happy with our crop, we can hit Enter, and all our layers will be cropped to the new dimension. Now let's go over some extra options for this tool. Current layer only will only crop the active layer you are creating a crop on. All other layers will not crop when pressing Enter. Delete cropped pixels will delete all color information outside of the cropped area. First, let's create a crop without this ticked. After we crop it, the color information from the parts of the image cropped are still present, and we can move this image around within the crop to see different parts. With Delete Cropped Pixels checked, after we create a crop, a new layer boundary is created for each layer that does not stray outside. See if we move this newly cropped layer, it abruptly stops at the layer boundary and doesn't continue like the first method. Allow Growing will allow you to create a crop outside of the layer project boundary. With Allow Growing unchecked, if we drag this crop to extend beyond the project boundaries, it doesn't let us go any further. With Allow Growing checked, we can extend beyond the project boundaries. The Grow Area dropdown will also become available and will let you decide what you want the grown area to be filled with. Since I had Transparency selected, the grown area is filled with transparency. And that's it. You now know how to use the Crop tool in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.